Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into these, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three Matthew Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Russia. And now if you see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that right hand is on point. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He is all about that left kick to the body. Huge block there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Kelly. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Pretty nice.
Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. <laughs> right hand punch. These guys throwing early. with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Real sneaky by kick. Back and forth we go! Kick to the body by Lee. Nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Kick to the body by Lee. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Ooh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is going with that type of intensity. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Able to check the high kick. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Brutal knee to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch. Beautiful body kick. Final seconds of round one. outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And they both stand up. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and 
like rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big kick lands. Liver kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chu. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right on the button. Another punch to the head. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Punch to the body looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch over the top. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like a telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. There you go, look for the shot. Just missed with the straight left hand. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike and very effective with it. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh! He needs to start looking the fish. Back to the feet. Every time these guys... Oh! Oh! He's in there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Marty closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Ten minutes in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Real nice body kick. Just missed. Nice punch to over the top. Nice body kick. Ooh. Lands a good combination. One of the most dominant positions in MMA, is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. And he landed the right hand there. He is blocked. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, he's got it going. Oh, what a sweep. Just unable to quite find that range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Yeah. Oh, little shot right on the button. Little shot, that is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Just missed with the left there. Trying to shut the liver down. Lee's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Straight punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Unable to land with that punch. Real quick leg kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, he finally strikes his body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Knee to the body. What a fight so far. 
Elijah, there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that one. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Big kick lands. into these big leg kicks. Over and over, fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Lock that kick to the body. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. Looking for that left hand, not there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, so he knocked down form in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming quite frankly, so near perfect execution on the strike and ultimately results in the KO here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Evil Beings called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I didn't even take it to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. 
He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. There he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him. A very 